G'day guys, that guy Perps here, back with another music reaction video. Coming today with The Warning, the new one, uh, Martirio, which I have had a quick look at the translation, and it, it loosely translates to like martyr, or martyrism, martyrdom, um, something like that. So, yeah, um, we were going to continue on with the Queen of the Murder scene reactions. We, we're pretty much getting to that final stage of that album. Um, I have been loving each and every step so far and was pretty keen i was you know had it set up yet yeah, today we'll do this and then yeah of course the girls go and drop another single from their upcoming ep so yeah we're going to jump into this like i said i would um if they did drop a single in between then we'll jump on that and i'll get to the queen of the murder scene ones again soon so this one is my cheerio it came out uh today or uh yesterday probably by the time you're seeing this um so yeah we'll just flick across to here and uh we'll get into this one now i do have the lyrics up on my phone as per your requests as well um especially being with um songs sung in tongue other than my own language uh we'll see do we have no we don't have any just thought it might have closed captions as well but no we don't so Let's get into this one, guys. Let me know what you think down in the comments section. Um, if this is your first time checking out The Warning, they do have a pretty extensive back catalogue. Um, yeah, last couple of songs have that they've released recently have been uh, of you know very, very high standard and, and quite good to listen to. So I uh, highly implore you to go and check them out. But yeah, let's get into this one. This is uh, The Warning with Material. Check the levels. Levels look good. A veces las cosas obvias son las más difíciles de ver Te asfixiaste con tus propias manos Okay, just straight off the bat, um, it, it's quite a different sound to what I'm, I'm used to hearing from the girls. Um, you know, very clean vocals, nothing in the background. Uh, Pound, um, Ali haven't really come in on, on their instruments yet. Danny's not, you know, I'm not assuming it's her just strumming that single chord on the guitar but yeah just to have those nice clean vocals uh no distortion on the guitar just just you know single playing of those chords um it, it's sort of yeah really stripped back really lets you focus in on the lyrics which um so far i believe have been sometimes the obvious things are the most difficult to see you choked with your own hands um i don't think she said much more than that um, but yeah, we're going to get back straight into it. Las cosas obvias son las más difíciles de ver. Te asfixiaste con tus propias manos. So I'm thinking like asfixias would be choked. Que por fin alguien te viene a rescatar. Te encuentras nuevamente abandonado. visuals really love the visuals on this too like um the sort of you know ripped tent or um i forget what you call those things uh it'll come to me it'll come to me my brain's just a bit slow today um but yeah that big wall of sound when they all just kick in um i knew that strip back wouldn't last for long but yeah this is the sort of this is the sound i yeah you expect every time you listen to a song from the warning um, but yeah, the last bit that they were talking about was, um, when everything points that finally someone will rescue you, you find yourself abandoned again, drown yourself in martyrdom, and then it's got brackets torment. Um, so yeah, again, quite a heavy song. Um, they don't do things lightly, these girls. They, they really touch on, uh, you know, painful and, and a lot of pain and sorrow and rather deep sort of topics um you know you, you won't hear them sing about you know rainbows and lollipops and cute dogs and cats and stuff like that <laughs> they're, they're right in there with all the the hard-hitting topics that's for sure
marquee was the word I was thinking of, but yeah. imagery i love the imagery with the um obviously the girls are all all in the white and then here they are in the dark it, with the torches and stuff and then having that reflection of the light um so i wonder how that i wonder if that's um so it doesn't really say it just says you realize the secret the pain will be away this will be your new life martyrdom um and you try and find an explanation of the deepest to your being and you fall into the void um, so I wonder again, I'm, I'm just gonna, I'll, I'll go back to this later. Um, I sort of wonder if that's that, uh, you know, the, the light and dark that everyone has in there. And then, um, there's again with that conflict. Um, but yeah, like the, the film clip again, like they, they never seem to fail when they put together a film clip, but, um, a lot of, a lot of the time it, it's not over the top and extravagant. It's it's well put together, very well executed, and um, it's just visually appealing. Like, it sort of reminds me of the scenes where, um, you know, like, the they're led off to be sacrificed or to become a martyr. Um, but, yeah, there's no turning back. You can't escape from the fire at your feet, and in the darkness you'll get lost. You'll lose yourself, drown yourself in martyrdom in the torment. Um, yeah, again, like, just... They just don't miss. Um, I think they found the the pocket of the you know that sound that they just you know they obviously love performing, um, and, and it fits really well with them. So I think that's why they're so good every time they release something is because it's just you know who they are. Like I'm sure they could do lots of other genres and and music styles and stuff, but you know they fell in love with this. This is what they've pursued, and obviously they're really good at it.
epic song from the girls from the warning. There we go, guys. That was that was uh, Materio. Now, those last few lyrics that I didn't really get into, um, you know, they continue that, uh, you know, sometimes the obvious things are the most difficult to see. Um, but then, you know, learn from the ones who suffered. If you have to live in fear, it's best to die at the hands of a goodbye. To your sad life, foolish martyr, say goodbye. Um, now, I'm sure in the translation, obviously, you know, I didn't um, speak to someone who, who speaks Spanish and have this translated. I just, it was on the lyric site. This is how it was translated. But, um, I'm sure even if it does lose something in that translation, um, cause you know, I understand that a lot of the times when you speak something in a language, it, it has a certain meaning that you just can't get across when, when it's easily translated like that. Um, like I'm sure it doesn't lose much, but you know, some of the structure or, um, a, a bit of the emphasis on, on what's being said might get lost. Um, but even still like they're, it's quite a deep and dark sort of song. Like I'd like to look into the background of the song. Um, if they have any, um, a lot of the times they do like a behind the scenes or something like that. So I might go and check that out, uh, in a moment. Obviously, once I sign off from here, I'll go and check that out just to get a better understanding myself of, um, you know, their thought process behind the song. Um, I do understand with these girls a lot of the time, it's, you know, they're writing about, um, you know, events they see in the world, uh, complete, made up, just, you know, fantasy sort of things. But they're all sort of based loosely around certain things. So, um, you know, like they don't just sit down and, and just pull random stuff out of a hat. Like they, they, they write about stuff that, you know, that they definitely show some passion in, in the topics that they get into. Um, a lot of them seem to be that sort of darker edge. Um, like I said before, you know, they're not really singing about, you know, rainbows and, and peace and, and everything else. They're singing about like internal conflict and torment and, um, yeah, just, just that sort of darker element of things, which, um, yeah, I suppose it, like it, it, it adds to a, their performance and, um, just the sound they have overall, I guess. So, um, but yeah, that was, uh, the warning Martirio. Let me know in the comments section what you thought of this. Um, you know, are you looking forward to getting back into the queen of the murder scene reactions? Uh, I certainly am, and then like I mentioned before, at the end of all them, I am going to sit down and, and listen to the album, um, you know, it's not really cover to cover anymore when they're digital, but uh, from the first song right through in chronological order, or track listing order, um, right through to the end to, to really see that evolution and everything of the character. Um, but yeah, let me know what you thought of this one. Um, Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Be uh, consider being part of the Purple Fam. Um, we're growing, you know, quite. I'm quite blown away by by how much the channel has grown, and um, you know, hopefully with your help, we can we can continue to do that. Um, share the video to your friends and family that might be interested in this band as well. Uh, links for the original will be down into the description, so I highly suggest you go over and watch it over there. Um, really give these girls as much support as you can either with views or subscription to their channel um normally they have their links to their patreon and everything up on the screen here so i'm sure if you go over to their main channel in their description or in their about um they'll have their links to all those other sites that you can uh go to to support the girls and yeah look out for them on tour if you're in the part of the world that's able to have music um live music at the moment because uh a lot of places um like Australia, where we just can't at the moment. So if you do see this band coming up and, uh, you know, try your best to, to get out and, and give them a view live. So, um, but yeah, guys, like always, until next time, I'm that guy, Perps, and I'll see you then.